you have a glass ball and you drop it, what happens? Right, shatters. There's permanent damage and things have changed forever. On the other hand, if you drop a rubber ball, it bounces back. Okay, so it's not great to drop it, but there's nothing's changed. So this is how you prioritize. When you are planning, um, I'm going to come at this from weekly planning, so that's what I do. But when you're planning your life, think about glass ball, rubber ball moments. And glass ball moments go on your plan first. Okay, so for me that looks like family dinner night. So Monday nights at my house are family dinner night. I only cook for those people like two nights a week. <laughs> Okay, because they're all teenagers and they have like arms and eyeballs and they can read instructions, so they're fine. Um, one of those nights is Monday nights and that's when everyone comes and we make a commitment that we're going to be there on Monday nights and we schedule around that. Now, does that work every time? No, we do it about 80% of the time and for us that's perfection. Okay, so to the point earlier about perfection, 80% is great. That's like a blessing with teens in the house. So that is one of our glass ball moments and we schedule around it. Rubber ball moment might look like um, office happy hour. Okay, so when I'm planning my week, office happy hour, that's important. I value my coworkers. I like the culture I want to be around. But if I can't get to that, that's okay. Nothing's, nothing's damaged. All right. So I'm going to highlight real quick a couple things on this point. Number one, your needs go on this list too. Okay, so you might have glass ball things that you need. So if you've had a busy week, like for me, this is a busy week. I cooked for the people in my house Monday night. I'm here tonight. Tomorrow night is glass ball moment for the next few weeks because it's my ski ball league. I've made a commitment to my teammates that I'm gonna like be there. So that's glass ball for now. So that means Thursday night is wide open. And you know what we tend to do when we have wide open spaces? Yes, because our needs always like live in the margins. It's like the unspoken thing that doesn't make it on your calendar. So do you know what my Thursday night looks like? Little box in my planner that says whiskey, cross-stitching, and Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> right. 